example of how the public school system takes part in the propaganda and the um, you know the stimulation of public opinion on issues that uh, they've tried to keep hidden from us and especially in the cannabis issue now this from the Denver Post um, of course basically criminalizing marijuana uh, by scaring everybody and, and saying that use is up and it's a big problem with teens. But as we read through this, there is no specific problem raised. It's just stated. I'm going to read it to you and hopefully you're awake and you can ask the, the questions that I'm asking in your own mind. School officials and educators packed a conference room on Wednesday, taking detailed notes and heaving collective sighs as they learned about what authorities are calling the number one issue Colorado schools face, marijuana. Okay, so the teachers are being manipulated by the authorities uh, to believe that Colorado schools face a big marijuana issue. Okay, let's... But let's move on. Let's see what their evidence is and what, what problems have been created from the legalization of cannabis in Colorado in relation to our teens. Uh, we got sold that marijuana legalization was going to posi positively impact our schools, said Christine Hines, director of the Co Colorado School Safety Resource Center. And there is the school infrastructure aspect, but we're not seeing tremendous changes with marijuana prevention programs or other students are paying the and our students are paying the price how okay maybe maybe it's down here maybe they're going to tell us how let's read on more than 350 school officials first responders and school mental health professionals gathered in Thornton on Wednesday for the resource center for safe schools summit notice that there were no pro cannabis uh, people invited to this or cannabis experts people who have um, knowledge of cannabis its effects on teens relative to school none of those people had any input all the input was coming from the same group of people that have been fighting to keep cannabis illegal keep that in mind let's move along because they still haven't told us what this massive problem is we still don't know so hopefully by the time we get through this, we'll, we'll understand what the problem is. More than, uh, okay, we got that. The conference, which runs through Thursday, offers training sessions and panels on issues like school shooting responses and human trafficking. The center said that a panel on marijuana legalization is back by popular demand. Who demanded it? Who, who demanded it? I haven't heard you talk about the parents. I haven't heard you talk about any professionals in the cannabis industry. So I, I don't know who demanded it. This is the number one problem in schools right now. Well, you told us that earlier, but you st maybe they're going to explain now. Let's let me uh, you know put some patience on this," said Linda Reimer, president of Act on Drugs, a nonprofit drug awareness and education organization. Assistant Attorney General Michael Song gave the marijuana presentation, telling teachers and school faculty about the shifting attitudes young people have towards marijuana and the ways in which authorities can address this new frontier. Still still no problems listed. Maybe they're fighting more. Maybe they're having sex on the lawn. I, I'm not sure. Let's find out. Jeff Whitmore, director of, for transportation for Bayfield School District in southwestern Colorado, shook his head in disbelief after the more than hour-long presentation that covered edibles, cannabis paraphernalia, and the laws behind busting students for possession, the drug on school campuses. So we've heard about the training that all these people went through. They've been trained in the law and the tactics to bust children. And somebody that probably uh, got real information, Mr. Whitmore, suddenly has been swayed to shake his head in disbelief. 
Okay, at first I thought it was similar to alcohol and that the kids wouldn't do it anyway and all that. The whip, uh, But it's like they're disguising alcohol as Kool-Aid and marketing it to kids. These edibles are cookies and gummy bears and they're filled with high amounts of THC. Well, this is a true fact. Um, I don't know about the marketing to kids. All the professionals that I know in the cannabis industry are, um, hold to very strict rules and, and, you know, kids shouldn't have this. So I don't think our kids are walking in to the marijuana shops and buying these. Individuals that decide to commit crimes are doing that, probably doubling their money off our kids or whatever, and those criminals are always going to exist. We should be targeting them, not the industry, again. But let's read on because we still haven't heard any problems. Are they raping each other because of the marijuana? Have, have uh, you know, has violence gone up? Um, has tardiness gone up? Uh, has has uh, testing gone down? What well, what is the issue? During the presentation, teachers took notes about the packaging of various marijuana edibles in the hopes of spotting the substance more easily. They also shared frustrations of complacent parents smoking with their children. Um, only the parent would know if that's appropriate. Just like they have endorsed in some countries uh, teenagers partaking at wine at mealtime um, with positive health effects uh, and positive uh, social effects. So only the parent would know this. This is not an issue that the teachers should be involved in at all. This is a parental decision right here. Uh, there is a shift in culture, Whitmore said. Kids see their parents smoking it and see it marketed everywhere, and they think it's normal and okay for them to do so. Oh, but it was fine to do that for decades with alcohol that is ultimately destructive on everything we hold dear. While data on mar marijuana-related incidents in Colorado public schools remain contested and scarce, many educators say they are seeing the problem escalate. What problem? No problem has been listed. The teachers have been trained to target individuals that use cannabis. And you know what? I'm Quite honestly, some upper teenage kids are very close to adults. They're making adult decisions. They're, they're, they're using cannabis, but they're managing their lives in a respectable fashion. If they're doing that, Again, only the parent would know, but I, we should take no issue with that. And no issue has been raised here. We haven't heard about sex with animals, crime. We haven't heard about uh, school attendance. We haven't heard about testing. We've had an accusation and the targeting of individuals presented to us. That's all. And, okay, we're going to go look at these contested and scarce task tactics, okay? This is the link. More pot, pot arrest at Denver schools, but no sign of increasing usage. It was scarce and contested. I don't know. Scarce is because it's only been uh, legalized for a short time, so we're not going to have years worth of studies. But there's quite a few indications here, as we will read, that you were just lied to. One year after retail marijuana joined medical pot as legal product, the number of marijuana-related arrests in Denver public schools has grown by 6%. Okay, so that kind of backs up what they're saying. But all we're talking about is people being arrested for something. We, we still haven't indicated a problem, a crime. It just means that somebody was arrested for something. It doesn't mean that any problem existed. Well, let's read on, because this 6%, which might make you think everything is justified, is going to be smashed here very shortly. Opponents predicted that legalizing the drug would encourage more teens to use it, but statistical data showing what change, if any, there has been in the number of teenagers using part are so far spotty at best. Ultimately, we would be looking at rates of use, not rates of enforcement, Mason Vert, uh, spokesman for Marijuana Policy Project, said of the arrest data provided by D Denver Police. Police made 273 arrests for marijuana in Denver schools from August 1st to 2012 to July 31st. During the same period of the following year, arrests rose to 289. 
just because you did more of something doesn't mean that the legalization had anything to do with it. Maybe you were more aggressive in your tactics because people were finally getting a freedom that they fought for for a long time, and so you're really mad and you're going to arrest more of them. You haven't proven anything to me so far. Uh, Bert said that the heightened awareness could be leading to more arrest. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, and again, this man works for Marijuana Policy Project. He's an expert in the field. He was not included in the link that I first showed you. Uh, nor was normal or anyone else that would have any information. There has obviously been a lot of scrutiny surrounding the issue, and maybe more school officials are trained to identify users, and we just saw that they are. Uh, supporters of legalized marijuana point to the 2013 Colorado Department of Public Health and Environmental Environment Healthy Kids Survey that found use among teens fell 22% in 2011 to 20% in 2013. Findings that would bolster their contention that legalization hasn't attracted more kids. So when they say spotty at best, these are the organizations that we rely on normally, but now you, you're going to try to tell me that that same organization is not credible, or I don't know what you're trying to tell me. You really haven't told me anything yet, except for you're a liar and a thief. Uh, Centers for Disease Control and Prevention also said that the rate of marijuana use among U.S. high school students remained virtually unchanged. Neither measured use after retail marijuana uh, went on sale January 1st. Okay, so we don't know. Um, but we do know the effects of marijuana. Uh, you know, the a heightened awareness, pain relief. The, you know, there's like 200 and, well, how many of 100 of, of uses? So I'm not even going to get into all that. But what I need to emphasize here is, is that this freedom is coming under attack, and the public schools are part of that. Now, maybe it's because they are specifically manipulated in their sheep. They may not be outwardly knowing that they are attacking any individual. They've been misled, like the general public has been misled, and they are being used from you know powers that be because they don't want us free they don't want us using parts of our mind that we for the most part don't have access to right now because of the other toxins in the environment they don't want us healthy they don't want us knowledgeable they don't want us spiritual they want us fighting they want us hating they want us angry and marijuana isn't going to help them but they haven't pointed out any problem they haven't pointed out any problem they've only created one and that's what they do best create problems much love uh the two links i showed you will be below do some research folks and look deeper than the lies that you're presented many thanks i'll see you soon. put your body upon the gears and upon the wheels upon the levers by all the apparatus and you've got to make it stop and you've got to indicate to the people who run it to the people who own it that unless you're free